happy Thursday, happy new moon in Capricorn. So we have made it to the first new moon of 2024 in the sign of the sea goats. Capricorn is the sign ruled by Saturn about self-discipline, sacred self responsibility. So it really is a great day to set your intentions, hello crows, um, for this year. What is it that you want to achieve? What ideas are bubbling away that need nurturing to come to fruition throughout the rest of this calendar year, throughout the rest of this cycle? So really think about not just this year, but think about your long-term visions as well. But also think about what hasn't worked for you. What needs to be removed to allow you to lay down some really firm strategic foundations for, for going forward? And we've also got this shift of Pluto into Aquarius in, on the 20th. This is already bringing about a change of energy. I had some great discussions yesterday with colleagues, with clients about how we're really feeling the shift, how we're feeling the need to do things differently, how things that we probably go along with before are really sticking out like a sore thumb and we're putting boundaries in to welcome in the energies that we truly want to welcome in. Pluto going into Aquarius is going to bring about a monumental shift. It is literally a shift in the change of, of ages. And we've got a time where Pluto will be in Aquarius this year. She'll go back into Capricorn and then she'll stay in Aquarius for a much longer, much, much longer period to so over 20 years. So it really is a generational shift. It's bringing in new, fresh energy. So you may already start to feel that shift. You may be already starting to feel that actually, mm, yeah, things are going to be very different this year. A very, very fast paced year where we're going to have tsunami after tsunami of light codes. So it's so important that we're grounded, we're physically strong, we are hydrated and we're ready to go. The calendar year has become quite slowly. It's been quite frustrating for some people, but we need to keep it so that we understand that it started at a steady pace to allow us to drop more deeply into our hearts. It is asking us to really think about who we are becoming. Who have we been but who are we becoming in 2024? But as this new moon happens this morning, it really feels like the pace is now going to up. The level, the ante is going to move forward a lot. So really be clear about your intentions. Make sure that they're heart led. And even if some of those intentions feel like huge mountains, ask yourself, what practical grounded action can I take through this lunation? So from new moon back to the next new moon, what practical grounded action am I going to take to make these dreams come to life? It could just be nurturing them. It could be making that phone call. It could be reaching out to someone and saying, hey, I've got this idea. Can I bounce it off you? It could be that you need to collaborate with other people to bring this amazing idea into fruition. So much being planted at the moment. And if you are really striving towards creating your new earth communities, if you are striving to create different educational systems, if you are striving to create just a beautiful heart led community, whether it's physically or online, this is a brilliant new moon for setting those intentions, setting those really stable foundations of who you are, what you want to bring in, what does this community look like, what are the values. How are you going to do it differently? And if it feels really big, just keep dropping it into your heart. Keep breathing. It just feels like so many potent seeds can be sown. And we are finding for many of us, particularly women, we are working more and more with the moon. We're really feeling into her natural rhythms. We're feeling into her natural cycles because that's the way that we live. We're women. We are very cyclical beings. So if you're finding that need to be drawn back towards working with the moon to break your year into 13 lunations rather than 12 calendar months, do it. Who is there to stop you from doing it? 
the other bit of interesting astrology to bring through for this new moon is that Mercury is currently, I'm just checking my notes, currently conjunct the galactic centre. The galactic centre is a massive great hole about 27 degrees of Sagittarius and this galactic centre is the cosmic void, the womb from which everything is birthed, the place where you can sit to bring through new ideas. Mercury. Mercuria is the goddess of communication. She is the quick silvered tongue that speaks and really engages with other people. She changes the way that we talk as well. If you know where your Mercury placement is within your birth chart mandala, you'll know how you communicate. What, what do you bring to the party in the way that you speak, the way that you sing, the way that you write, the way that you have non-verbal communication as well. The reason I am mentioning this is because as Mercury, the sign, the goddess of communication, passes over this great void, this black hole, the place where everything is being birthed, the aspect I was shown today is that through that, there is a huge amount of galactic information coming through. Many of us are already picking it up at the moment, but as we've got this particular conjunction, more and more energy is being facilitated to flow through. And I found that really strongly this morning when I sat down to do to do my practice, to really listen in to what to say today, to feed in to the energy. And there was a huge amount of love and support pouring through for us. It's almost as if we have now flicked another switch of ascension and by doing this suddenly the floodgates are open and energies, whoever we want to describe the galactics are, just describe them as energies, as soul tribes, maybe where we have come from, where we go back to, who we resonate with, are almost watching Earth at the moment. It's like they connect in telepathically to us they're sat in their homes if they have homes they're sat in their temples their places of learning and it's like earth can occasionally be on the big screen and they're really watching what we're doing they're watching all the work that we're coming in and now this is an opportunity where they're kind of tapping in much more telepathically to us as a collective but also to us as individuals so i'm going to caveat that with always drop it into your heart always make sure that the energy that you're connecting with is for your highest good and for the highest good of all but I'm really seeing and sensing that these galactics are stepping forward, wanting to impart knowledge, wanting to share a lot more information with us. So if today you spontaneously feel like speaking light language, if you suddenly want to draw and it's kind of an abstract drawing, it feels very different if you are writing and it's almost like um, an old code comes out, it's a... Uh, a language which is written which for me always becomes kind of um it's dots and, and different lines kind of very beautiful wavy lines that come out so if that starts coming through if you just write it down it doesn't matter about not understanding what's coming through it's about creating that that beautiful connection and i truly see a lot of energy a lot of light coming through and the resonance that it is is that they're really supporting us really cheering us forward at the moment that there's so much information to share that they're, they're desperate to share it with us they're desperate to know desperate for us to know that they are there in support and for those planets and galaxies that have already ascended to the fifth dimension and beyond they are the ones who are stepping forward to share their wisdom to share their experiences because they've done it sexually have done it as a planetary whole and they're really coming forward to bring to us what they can share to enable us to transition into this higher state of frequency with a little bit more grace a little bit more ease and for them to share what they would have gone through their frustrations their kind of unbelief at times that this process was truly happening whether it was all kind of in in their minds or whether this was actually happening for them and when you're really feeling into that energy it's a huge amount of 
emotion, a huge amount of love coming forward as well. Their processes to ascend were a lot longer, they're showing me. So we're doing it really rapidly. We're doing it within our lifetime and we will be there a lot sooner than we anticipated. So know that you've got that support. So when you sit today, if you have that time to set your new moon intentions, maybe just sit for a moment extra just connect into that beautiful energy that love that's radiating through that wisdom those light codes that are coming through and see what it brings for you see what messages that the galactics have for you today and going forward once you've established that beautiful connection it was very telepathic connection it is for me it's very telepathic connection i don't necessarily see the words just start to to flow so just see what the messages are so huge amount of support for this new moon a huge amount of support for us our ascension process as well so it just leaves me to say wishing you a very happy new moon huge blessings from my heart to yours and if you want to know a little bit more about the astrology of the new moon how we blend it from a goddess astrology perspective and blend it in with those ascension energies feel free to join me tonight i've got an online moon circle i'll put all the booking links either in the comments below or somewhere in the text so you can find it and i'll put it on stories on instagram as well so sending you much love new moon blessings and have the most beautiful day take care